Look, it is scary how fast AI is taking over, everything's changing and it now feels like the job market is a sinking ship. But stop and don't panic, because while some jobs are going under, AI is also creating brand new jobs that barely anyone's talking about, jobs that pay high salaries and you use AI instead of being replaced by it, and you don't need any technical skills. So in this video, I'll show you six AI jobs that can make you rich in 2025 if you start early. I don't want to scare you, but this could be your last chance to get in early before all the chaos erupts. So that's worth keeping in mind. First up on the list is perfect for those with no background in AI or tech whatsoever, but still want to get that first AI job. And it's the AI product manager. Now, in 2023, a glitch in Apple's autocorrect feature caused widespread user frustration. And it was basically screwing up people's sentences when they were sending their texts, making it really embarrassing for people. Like, imagine texting your boss something like this. Yeah, embarrassing. But Apple's a pretty good company. So how did they make this silly mistake? Well, because no one managed the AI properly. And that's the job of an AI product manager. It's not building the AI thing, it's not actually doing and building the AI, but it's making sure it actually works, and um, mm, that's pretty important as well. You're kind of like the air traffic controller. You don't fly the planes yourself, and you don't program the AI, but without you, everything crashes. And that's why they pay AI product managers so well, between 100 and 140,000 per year. And uh, it's also way less stressful than being an air traffic controller, where you're responsible for thousands of people and their security, you know, it's a little bit more chill. Now, where do you find this job? Well, I'm going to show you. So head over to Indeed and search for AI Product Manager. It's actually that simple and you'll find hundreds of job openings right away. But now you might be thinking like, is this some advanced, super technical, senior tech position job thing? No. Relax. The work is mostly meetings, writing documents, and giving feedback. But at the same time, I gotta be honest, is it the most exciting AI position? No, definitely not. But with that kind of salary, I don't personally care how tedious the job is. I'll still take it. And I'll give this one a 7 out of 10 score. So next up is the AI chatbot designer. And you don't need any tech skills or any design skills whatsoever to get started. So have you heard about this ridiculous thing that I just found out? That last year, Air Canada actually lost a court case and had to pay thousands of dollars in compensation because its chatbot was providing passengers with the wrong travel information. And basically what was happening is people were asking questions about flights and booking and things like that regular stuff when you're booking a flight and the customer service at the company was using some kind of AI chatbot to respond. Now, they thought it was a good idea, but it wasn't. And we see these all over the place nowadays. I mean, it's practically impossible to talk to a human now. I personally hate it, but whatever. That's not the point of this video. Here's where the real problem begins. So the chatbot actually provided incorrect answers, resulting in customers booking and paying for the wrong flights. Like imagine putting your trust in customer support, you think you can trust them, and then you're stuck in the airport over Christmas with your whole family missing your prepaid vacation or something like that. What a nightmare. And that's why they got sued. It makes sense. And just one bad chatbot cost the airlines thousands of dollars. And honestly, it's a really big mistake and they deserve it. But that's also where you come in as the AI chatbot designer and you hopefully don't make the same mistake. Your job is basically to train the bot and prepare answers so it doesn't send someone going to New York straight to Alaska. It's a bit of a problem, you know? So the hourly pay for this position is between 40 and $55 an hour or higher in fields like healthcare and finance Yes, you can make a ton of money. And the best part is you can even start your own business if you want to do that in the future. But now the question is, how do you even learn this stuff? Like, you don't go to college to learn AI chatbots, do you? IBM actually has a free course called Building AI Chatbots Without Programming, which sounds pretty cool. And I'll leave a link to it in the description. Eight out of 10. All right, so we all know at this point that there's a ton of money to be made in AI, maybe even too much money, if that's possible. OpenAI has signed deals worth millions to provide ChatGPT to companies like law firms, banks, startups, all sorts of businesses. And they're making millions of dollars by doing it, but the engineers themselves didn't close those deals. It was the AI specialists who did. And these are basically the people who explain, pitch, and then sell AI to companies. Because a lot of companies actually want AI, but they don't know where to start or what they need or how to buy it. And that's where you come in. You're kind of like the fancy real estate agent for AI. You don't really build a house, you don't build AI, but you know exactly how to pitch the benefits and why it's worth 
the investment. Now, here's why you can make shockingly good money doing this. And it's just a sales job, but you have an average base pay of 80 to 140K per year, which is pretty crazy. And then you also get commissions. So basically top performers at top companies could make hundreds of thousands per year. And I get it, you're suspicious. I'm usually the suspicious one. It sounds ridiculous, but again, if you're closing million dollar deals, it kind of makes sense that you're paid a lot of money for it. But wait a second, I get it. Most of you don't want to get into sales because it's pretty demanding and it can be stressful. You just want something that's relatively easy that still pays you good money. So next up is a job that you can do in your pajamas from home. AI is actually automating customer support. For example, Klarna is a financial service business and they've started to use AI and uh, here's what happened. They replaced over 700 humans in a single month. Yeah, that's scary. But do you know is isn't getting replaced? It's the people building and actually fixing the AI itself. And that could be you, the AI support specialist. Now, I get it. It's kind of like a doomsday scenario where you're the one that's building the AI that's replacing people and you're like fixing the AI that's replacing people. But let's ignore that for a second and talk about the money. More money, more money. Ah. So your job isn't talking to the customers. It's to make sure that the AI can talk to the customers. So yes, you're really guilty in all of this. And you're kind of like the safety net that keeps the AI from embarrassing the company or worse, misleading users like, you know, the airline company and sending them to Alaska on the flight. But think about it like this. You're like the editor for a newsletter. The AI writes everything, but if nobody checks it, there's just too much at stake. Now, here's how to find the jobs, because it can be a little bit tricky, especially with these types of like new AI positions. They're not everywhere. Companies also use various names for it. So let's head over to Indeed, mix words like customer service, support specialists, customer support, and artificial intelligence or AI. There are some jobs available with many more expected in the future as it's a very emerging field. So being early is just gonna be a bonus. Seven out of 10. All right, so next up we have the AI content moderator. Now, this job is hiring like crazy right now. Let me explain. So in 2024, a retail chatbot mistakenly told a customer to burn down their house when asked about some home cleaning tips. I guess that's one way to get rid of your shorts. And that's a terrible joke, I know. The story went viral and the company had to issue a public apology. I mean, they should have probably done more, but whatever. And this happened because the AI misinterpreted the question and it gave a pretty bad answer, all because nobody was monitoring the chatbot and, you know, somebody could have burned down their house. Now, this job is similar to the support specialist that we just covered. The difference is that the content moderator isn't gonna be fixing anything. They're not gonna be building AI. They're not gonna be supporting, fixing. They're basically going to be detecting errors and things that aren't working properly and bad results. It's pretty simple. Whenever the algorithm flags questionable content, you know, usually the bad stuff that you don't wanna look at, you review the content. Each thing that you review is gonna make the AI smarter for next time. So it's really simple and the pay isn't gonna be as high. It's around 40 to 50K per year, but it's definitely here to stay because even as AI gets smarter and smarter, it technically gets more dangerous as well. And if an AI starts being very political, biased, or giving dangerous advice, like burning down your house, well, a lot of things can go wrong. And it might seem like a boring job, but it's also very important. I mean, I can't stress this enough. We're gonna see a lot of problems soon from companies that didn't hire AI content moderators. And I think personally, it's gonna be quite scary what's gonna happen with all the AI that's unmoderated. But I also gotta say that looking at bad stuff all day is going to be very tiresome, very draining. And if you're somebody that's dealing with any mental health issues whatsoever, really don't do this. I'll give it a six out of 10 because it pays, it's real, but it's actually freaking miserable. All right, so the next AI job can pay you hundreds of thousands per year. And now you're thinking, no way, Lucas, that's not possible. But here's why. In the US, China, and some more countries, self-driving cars have appeared. And for example, a company Waymo by Google started offering driverless taxi services. And uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. You basically pick up your phone, call a taxi on the app, and a self-driving car is going to appear next to you with no driver, and you could just get in the car and go right away, wherever you wanna go. But you know what's even crazier, and honestly, absolutely insane, is that Waymo's self-driving cars have been involved in 88% fewer injury-causing crashes 
compared to human drivers based on over 22 million miles driven. So in simple terms, basically it's safer to ride without a driver in 2025. Now, to make that happen, somebody's obviously worked on this a lot and created and really optimized these self-driving vehicles. And that is using artificial intelligence, AI. These people are called AI engineers, but of course they don't only build stuff for cars, they build it for everything. Now, AI engineers are among the highest paying roles in tech, and the average is about 175k per year, with total compensation often reaching beyond 200,000. And I think they're worth it, because if somebody's going to be sitting in a driverless car, it better be working. But now most of us aren't some kind of expert programmers or data specialists. We just want to make good money with AI. Then I got some more AI jobs and certs requiring no experience or tech skills. Click this video on the screen. Bye, I guess. See you there.